So joining me now is Reeve Collins, former CEO of Tether, the first stable coin and co-founder of Smart Media Technologies. Uh, Reeve, thanks so much for coming on the show. So talk to me more about how FTX's collapse is causing some wider concerns across the crypto sector. Yes, it's a real blow to the entire industry, and it's so unfortunate that it happened, and I really feel for all of the people that were impacted by it. It's shed a lot of light on the industry, especially because SBF, the CEO of FTX, Sam Bankman fried was looked at as someone who's going to move regulations forward, and he was respected in the industry. It seemed a lot of people fell for his charm and his seeming genius, and it's turned out that he was a scheming genius. And it really has caused a ripple effect across the industry, but one that we're doing our best to recover with as quickly as possible. So do you think it was warranted here? I mean, the concern that we see after the fallout from basically the oversight of, of Sam Begman fried Well, the, what's warranted is that the added scrutiny everyone's putting onto the industry is understandable. And it's great to see a lot of the CEOs of the major exchanges step up, especially CZ from Binance, who's actually just released a tweet stating that they're going to create an industry fund to help these exchanges if they are in liquidity crunch. So they will do their own due diligence and people will invest in this fund just in case other exchanges are impacted by this. So it shows a great self-policing of the industry and the industry stepping out to help others that might be negatively affected in these times. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, Reeve, in terms of uh, what this does mean for people who still have their money in crypto, what would you advise them? Well, crypto is a great place to have your money in due to the amazing technology that it is and to how world changing it will be. And this is what I always talk about. It's great that there is belief behind it. And just because there was a very bad actor and it did have a large impact, it doesn't mean that cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin aren't a good place to invest and become knowledgeable in. But an old adage in the industry since the beginning is not your coins. I'm sorry, not your keys, not your coins. So a lot of people should have self-custody of a lot of their tokens. And I think that's a lot of times that's going to happen um, mm -hmm. much more quickly now. Mm -hmm. So explain to me how uh, Tether fits into the crypto space. You're the former CEO of Tether. Uh, I think we call it the first stable coin, right? As people try to understand the different layers and facets of the cryptocurrency space and the story in particular, what role does Tether have in the broader ecosystem? Tether has become the foundation of the cryptocurrency ecosystem because it, it provides people a stable coin. If you think about what you hear in crypto is that it's very volatile. So there's lots of tokens and the prices go up and down. Traders and investors, if they don't want to be exposed to that volatility, they can move from a volatile cryptocurrency into a stable coin, and then it will be always at $1. So it enables you to keep your money within this ecosystem, not having to move it into a bank, and then it can be in the ecosystem as a stable $1 pegged token. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, in terms of regulation, Reeve, what might be on the horizon? What's your expectation? And how much more keen do you think regulators are now to tackle this cryptocurrency space? Yes, regulation has always been a bipartisan issue. So no matter what's going to happen in this uh, in the up in the current election. Um, I do think there'll be a lot more scrutiny placed on the cryptocurrency ecosystem, especially due to these current events. One of the things that Biden was pushing was a CBDC, a central bank digital currency. So it's going to enable the government to have a lot more control and a lot more insight if you utilize that type of currency. So they're exploring that. And that's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. We're going to have to see how that unfolds. But what that is a signal of is that the government's paying attention to this new technology and they're going to utilize it for themselves because at the core tenets is that blockchain technology is an improvement to the legacy financial systems that we have. And that's what people are leaning into. Now they're going to add a little bit regulation to reduce the level and sometimes massive fraud that has taken place in this industry. And so hopefully more and more people will be feel safe to get involved. Mm -hmm. I do have one more question. I know regulators obviously try to track down this report, um, but do we know what sort of amount of money FTX might be on the hook for in terms of misappropriating user funds? I'm sure for users, probably that might be the worst part of this story, that they thought their money was safe when, in fact, it could have been misappropriated. 
It looks like from a lot of the reports that I've seen that there's up to an eight billion dollar shortfall, an eight billion dollar hole where they can't quite find out where that money went. It seems that FTX was utilizing customers' deposits and lending it out, which obviously they're not supposed to do. It is a massive scam if that is actually what has taken place. The one thing I do want to share though is there's so many rumors and so much fear, uncertainty, and doubt out there right now. We're still uncovering the truth and seeing what the impacts are. The major blow has been dealt, so I do believe the industry has felt the massive impact of the collapse of FTX. There will be some ripple effects, but overall, crypto will prevail. It's here. It's not dead. People, people have an opportunity to calm down a little bit and realize that things will be okay. And it is tragic that there was money lost, but we will continue forward. All right, Reeve Collins, former CEO of Tether and co-founder.